Cheers, living at a North Texas library, and now this cat could get kicked out. All new at 5 o'clock, Gilma Avalos explaining the new controversy over the kitty cat known as Browser. Meet Browser, the library cat. He strolls the place, past the books and the patrons, as if he owns the place inside the White Settlement Library. But Browser is now at the center of a cat fight, and fur is flying. I'm concerned about the fact that we've had a cat living here for six years, and suddenly, for no reason that's really been explained to us, the council wants to take it away from its only home it's ever owned. Lillian Blackburn, president of the Friends of the Library, is one of many local residents upset that the city council last Tuesday voted two to one to give Browser the boot. He has 30 days to vacate. I come here to see the cat. Okay, why? Be because he's really friendly and he, and, he, and he lets me pet him and he doesn't scratch me or bite me. Ten-year-old Christian Bearden is one of the many kids who suddenly like coming to the library after meeting Browser. I love him. I don't want him to leave. This past Tuesday, there was a council agenda uh, to uh, relocate the library cat. Although he could only vote to break a tie, Mayor Ronald White said he was against the council's vote in favor of removing Browser from the library. This is the ambassador for the city of White Seven for the library. And it helps children to read, learn to read, because they read to the cat. Gilma Avalos, CBS 11 News. By the way, Elsie Clements is one of two city council members who has voted to remove Browser. He told us that he's heard complaints from people who are allergic to cats, and he believes that's a problem for them. Those who want Browser to stay have started a petition asking the city to vote again.